The expression is at the end of the day. Do you know at the end of the day? I must have finished this today. Yeah, well, that's kind of literal, literally. Yeah, it's it's the end of the day, but it is often used uh, expressively as like an idiom at the end of the day. Similar expression in today's vocabulary. Boil down to. Look at the example sentence for boils down to. And it says, at the end of the day, everything boils down to. It's completely natural to say like that. That's double emphasizing. Ultimately, the most important part. When I'm talking about uh, my vacation and we are choosing a lot of uh, hotels and I just tell my friends, at the end of the day, I just want a comfortable hotel. I don't care about price. I don't care about location. At the end of the day, I just want to be comfortable. Meaning, most importantly, ultimately. Let me another expression. It's a generous offer, but at the end of the day, I have to choose the job that will be most beneficial for my family. So maybe they gave you the job offer, and it's a lot of money, more than the other job offers. But you said, at the end of the day, I have to think about my family, not just the money. The money is not the most important thing. The family is. More thing. At the end of the day, the only person uh, who can take your life forward from here is you. Meaning, after everything else, you can get some help from someone else and you can receive some uh, advice. But at the end of the day, you are in charge of your own decisions. You are in charge of your life. I think the reason they say at the end of the day, it means after everything else has passed, the final thing, the ultimate thing, the most important thing. When everything else is concluded, that is what is the final, ultimate analysis.